Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Aaron here. Welcome to the second episode of OOTD Canvas. If you guys don't know what OOTD Canvas is, please check my first episode. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, there's a description on why I'm doing this video and how this video is going to work. And yeah, without further ado, um, enough talking. I want to get started, so let's go. So for the first item, I have the Gianni Mora cap. Starting from the top down. I showed this on the first episode, but I didn't give you guys a closer look, so here you go. This is the Gianni Mora He Dot Cap. The stitching on the front with the skull and two daggers. It's a little faded. And then on the back, it says, The worst crime I could think of. Port and company on the inside. Right there. Really um, simple, subtle hat. It's a little flimsy, like I said already. Fits really great. I love it comfortable and it's a great essential to have for yeah. any outfit especially when you don't have a haircut like me so yeah Gianni Mora he died all right so for my second item I have this ASOS super long line skater fit tee in a size small there's nothing really special about this there's no split hem there's no back stitch on the medial side none of that stuff it's just a regular long line tee the skater fit meaning it's really slim fitting on the chest and the waist so i don't recommend wearing this alone it looks kind of weird it's good for layering and that's why i'm doing this just like my aiden one this has a straight hem across like i said already but this is in white it's not ivory i don't know if you can tell but yeah so next up i have this gray hoodie from uniqlo or uniqlo in a size small the fit on this is true to size. I do not recommend sizing up unless you guys want it oversized. It's a great year round piece. It's not too thin or too thick. I like to layer with this as well. The detailing on this, it's not bad. I like how they use metal aglets and a cream string to match the stitching or cream or oatmeal, something like that. But it's a great contrast. It's not the same color as the hoodie. I like how they did that. And also they have this kangaroo stitching pocket right here. Also on the sleeves as well. And on the inside, on the medial side, you do not have a back stitch. I don't think they would, but it'd be nice if they did. Other than that, dope piece, great essential. Okay, so next up, I have this flannel from American Eagle. This is a size extra large. I wanted it to fit really oversized and drapey as well. It's a good layering piece. I wear this over a jacket or a hoodie. Originally a long sleeve, I cut the sleeves off and I distressed the stitching right here to give it that street vibe. Going through the detailing, you have these black buttons. You have two front pockets right here. You have a front hem or scoop hem, my bad. And then on the back, you don't have a medial stitch going down, but you do have stitching across the shoulders. You have an extended back right here. Really easy, dope piece. The color on this is burgundy, black, and cream. Really subtle, not too loud, and it doesn't look like those generic red and black flannels that everyone has. So I like this piece. Really cheap as well. Go ahead and cop. Good for layering. All right, so moving on to the pants. We got these H&M wax denim size 29 the fit on these amazing i think these are the best fitting jeans besides my represent i think a little better than my represent because the cap on these are not as tight they're tapered though i love tapered pants the leg on these i guess you can say sits right on my ankle fits really perfect like thigh not too tight as well so it's not like super skinny it's kind of it's like slim fit and then tapers perfect looking at the back side two basic butt pockets nothing really special it's a little loud so you just want this loud pant and then subtle top and shoes i just recommend doing that really nice piece got this three years ago i think so i don't know if they still have them but i know zara carries them and that's it all right so to finish off this fit I have the Adidas Ultra Boost right here. You guys are wondering why I moved up so close. That's because I wanted to showcase the shoes up close and give you guys my thoughts on the shoes and how they fit as well. Um, before I start, I was kind of skeptical on getting these shoes a while back because I saw Kanye wore them. I didn't really like them. Anything that Kanye wore eventually kind of grows on you and you're like, oh man, I got a cop. So I cop. Uh, <laughs> these are a size 10 in women, which is equivalent to a size 9 according to adidas.com. So I took the risk, copped. Luckily, they fit perfectly. Originally kind of snug, kind of loosens up afterward. 
after you know a couple where and there yeah so let's get into the review enough talking all right right here you have that indigo tab i guess you can say it says ultra boost in silver and then you have the gold aglets to complement that silver boost lettering you have the blue primate upper it's not as noticeable which is good i don't like it too loud you can wear this with almost any outfit and it just looks great the primate upper is really breathable you can wear this with thicker socks it does fit kind of snug but you don't want to wear this with just like you know the no-show socks or just regular fitting socks because your feet will get cold during the winter you have the three stripe cage around the shoe I've seen people take it off, but I like it on. It looks nice with the laces. You have that 3M tab right here, and then you have the thick boost technology sole. Really great. You can wear this all day and not feel the pain. I wear this all the time. You just slip it on and boom, you're out. You have the sole right here. This is the first ultra boost or the first type of ultra boost, I guess you can say. So the soles do wear out fast, whereas the second pair of ultra boost they give you that continental sole so it lasts longer and more grip but when i wear these they fit perfectly you can wear these anywhere wear them anytime they fit great they look good the only downfall is that every time you're wearing these indoor like in a bathroom or in a hallway or something all you hear is wah, 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 and it just gets annoying but other than that you know you'll catch people's eye and they're just looking at you you're like damn ultra boost bro so yeah you just ultra boost okay so now i'm gonna put on the fit show you guys how it looks hope you guys enjoy yeah yeah you know what i say <laughs> yeah 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 this the thick girl at the I be looking handsome. You should tell your mama she gon' have a grandson. Niggas think we fucking, tell them we just dancing. I'ma let you touch it, girl. Why you keep on asking? Red leather jacket, girl, call me Michael Jackson. Five shots later, we call it Johnny Paxson. Money we be spending and money we be stacking. Gon' put up all these Franklins and we gon' spin these Jackson. Girls on stage, making change, making rain. We like clothes. Good food, champagne, entertain it. We don't ever ask for much except trust women less every time. Alright, so that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up, share with your friends, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite piece out of this whole video? Also, constructive criticism would be really helpful. Uh, I just want to show you guys that you know this fit is not really expensive at all. You can always put this, you guys just go to a, a mall and buy these garments and just make them yourself you can always have a dope fit it doesn't have to be necessarily expensive or exclusive it just depends on how you put it on how you style yourself and how you portray yourself as a person that is what consists of a dope outfit to me uh you can always refer to this video for future references also for inspirational um outfits i guess you can say put your own twist to it your own style and yeah so stay tuned and until next time peace guys